Hello, this is Tony Riggs from Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at library features. We're going to start off with fairly simple library features and get more complicated as we go along. For this first library feature, all we have is a simple cut extrude of a rectangle. And in this sketch, all we really have are the size dimensions for the rectangle. So to create a library feature for this cutout, it's as simple as dragging and dropping this over to the design library and giving it a name, maybe rectangle. From there, we're going to flip over to a part that we're going to add this library feature to. And to add this library feature, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping this cutout onto a flat face on our part. Uh, because we really didn't have any locating dimensions, all we have is an Edit Sketch button in the Feature Manager tree. From there, we can come in and we can uh, rearrange and move this cutout around, but we can't really change the size. So to locate this guy, we might want to come in and put a couple dimensions on there, maybe one inch to the left edge, and then maybe two and a half inches to that bottom edge, and finish up. So we've added that library feature. Well, let's delete this one and see what we can do a little bit differently with this next example. In this example, we've got a similar cutout, but in this case, we've got a, a locating dimension relative to the left edge and the top edge. So let's see how this cut out uh, behaves a little bit differently. Again, dragging and dropping it over to the li design library. Maybe give it a name, rectangle 2. And then we will drag and drop it onto that same part. When we do this, it's going to actually prompt us for the left edge and the top edge to locate this library feature. But notice it didn't really give us the option to change the size of the rectangle. How would we do that? So we're going to come in and maybe delete that back off, but then go in and open that library feature up in its own window. In the Feature Manager tree for the Design Library feature, uh, we've got a Dimensions folder. In this Dimensions folder, we've got a couple dimensions for the size of the rectangle, but also we've got some locating dimensions. We're going to drag the D3 and the D4 down into the locating dimensions and save that, and we'll see how it behaves differently when we pull it in drag and drop it in again, define it relative to that left edge and the top edge, but now we've actually got the ability to uh, change the dimensions. Now where we drop, dropped it in it is what the value is, so maybe we can change that one to 2 inches and that one to 2 inches. It's going to locate that library feature. So just an, another way of um, adding this library feature. In our third example, we're going to come in and delete this cutout again. We're going to come over to this third part. In this example, we actually have configurations of the cutout. So maybe a 1x1, one 2x2, one, two two, and maybe a 3x3 three three cutout for this feature. I'm going to drag and drop that over to the design library again. Rectangle 3. Say OK. And now we're going to come in and drag and drop that onto our part. Before we get started, it's going to actually want us to uh, pick a configuration that we can use. 1x1, one 2x2, one, 3x3. Two two, three three. But it's also wanting us to pick our left edge and our top edge. And place that uh, new cutout in our part. We've also got the ability down here at the bottom to override dimension values. Now once we do that, it's actually going to come in and create a custom configuration. So if we wanted something other than the 1x1, 2x2, or 3x3 size, we can do that as, as well. So I hope you see some of the power of design library features and how you might be able to use them and customize them. And again, this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope that you found this video to be helpful.